class today I'm going to continue with 0780 physics 1 Cameroon GC June 2020 session solution to questions 5 6 and 8 follow up attentively as I solve these problems from the start to the finish I'll be back in a minute welcome back let's start with question number five it says a typical fusion reaction in a nuclear reactor is represented this is the fusion reaction now the value of n is a 5 b 2 c 3 and d 4 typically for us to solve this problem we have to either apply mass balance or charge balance the masses represent numbers uh, on the left hand side means superscript on the left hand side of either the chemical symbol or the nuclear particle so here these numbers represent the masses and these numbers represent the charges now for us to get n we need to multiply n times 1 and not n times 0 because if we multiply n by 0 we'll never have n because any number multiplied by 0 is 0 so the best law to apply here will be mass balance and not charge balance in order to calculate for n so let's translate this equation into the language of mathematics solution equation number five mass balance Two thirty five plus one. This arrow becomes an equal sign. So we have ninety two plus one forty one plus n times one gives us n. Now let's solve for n. This way we are going to have on the left hand side we have 236. On the right hand side we have 141 plus 92. We have 141 plus 92. So just use your calculator to do that. If you work that out correctly you're going to have 233 plus n now you can solve for n n is equal to 236 minus 233 this gives us 3 so n is 3 and if we look at the four choices we have here the correct answer is c hence Our correct choice is C. Our correct choice is C. Hence, our correct choice is C. That is what we have. So, that is the solution to question number five. Let's look at the solution to question number six. Question number six says the heating element of electric kettle has a resistance of 30.0 ohms. Let's take down that information. It's very important. How the resistance is 30.0 ohms. The kettle is connected to an AC power supply of root mean square voltage, 230 volt. Let's take down that information. Root 
mean square voltage. I'll write it V subscript R on the right. So I have 230 volt. 230 volt. The peak value of the current is the peak value of the current. The peak value is also called the maximum value of the current. So let's designate the maximum value of current I max. I max. You notice that we are asked to calculate the peak value of the current. It means that you equally need the peak value of the voltage. You equally need the peak value of the voltage. Now we know from Ohm's law that V is equal to I R. This means that our I that we need, say maximum, should be equal to V. 2 should be maximum because V is varying, but R is not varying. So we need the maximum value for the voltage. But the root means square of the voltage is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times the maximum voltage. Now, this is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 2 is equal to 0 0.71 Vm. Now, you can make Vm the subject of the formula. So, our Vm is equal to Vr divided by 0 0.71. One okay. Now, if we call this equation equation number one, then this one equation number two, we can put equation number two into one. This gives us I M equal to. So wherever I see V, and I'm going to substitute this, this gives us V, V, R, divided by 0 0.71, capital R. Substituting for V, R, and R gives us... 230 divided by 0 0.71 times 30.0. This gives us, when you divide this, you are going to have 10.8. So, if you look at the different choices we have, 10.8 corresponds to B. So B is our correct choice. Okay, let's look at question number 8. It says, a container is filled with a sample of an ideal gas at a pressure of 1.5 atmosphere. Let's call this pressure P1. P1 is equal to 1.5 atm. The gas is compressed isothermally to one-fourth of its original volume. Isothermally means Temperature T is kept constant. Temperature T is kept constant. That is the meaning of isothermally. An isothermal change. Temperature is kept constant. It's not changing. 
Now, we are told that our V2 is equal to 1 over 4 V1. If we let, let V1 equal to V, this means that our V2 should be equal to 1 over 4 V. So we have a value for what V2, it is 1 over 4 V, where V is the volume, V1. Now, we need the pressure, P2, is what we want to calculate. But when you keep the temperature constant, the gas law that you are applying is Boyce law. Boyce law states that the volume of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure, provided the temperature is kept constant. Now, according to Boyce law, we are saying that PV is equal to K, where K is a constant of proportionality when temperature T is kept constant. This means that when things change, what things? Pressure and volume. We have P1, V1 equal to P2, V2. You can make P2 the subject of the formula. P2 is equal to P1, V1 divided by V2. This gives us P2 equal to what P1 is 1.5 atmosphere times our V1 is V divided by 1 over 4 V. This gives us V will cancel with V. So you have 1.5 times 4. This gives us 6 ACM. So our correct answer according to what we have here, the choices we have here is Z. Z is our correct choice. Thank you very much for your keen attention. Thanks for watching. Please, if you found this video helpful, then subscribe. Do not keep it for yourself. Share it with friends and encourage them to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye for today. See you in my next video.